learners to this lesson. Today I would like us to look at trigonometry 1, which is a form 2 uh, topic, and SATS, which is in form 3. So it is a combination of trigonometry 1 and SATS. Let us look at this question. We are told that given that tan 75 is equal to 2 plus square root of 3, find tan 15 leaving your answer in the form a plus b square root of uh, c a plus b square root of c so learner how do you go about this the first thing that you do is to ask yourself tan 75 is equal to 2 plus root 3 plus 2 plus root 3 2 plus root 3 is a numerator is a numerator and we can introduce a denominator one there plus. So tan 75 is 2 plus square root of 3 over 1. Learn that this is form 2 work. Tan is given by tan of an angle is equal to opposite. So this figure here is for opposite over adjacent. Look at that. Opposite over adjacent. Beta is equal to opposite to adjacent, so this is opposite and this is adjacent. So, turn now and draw a right angled triangle like that. Fix 75 degrees here, Lana. And therefore, turn 75 is equal to opposite, which is 2 plus root 3. This is your opposite lana. If 75 is here, this side is called opposite. So our opposite is 2 plus square root of 3 over adjacent. You fix your one there. Okay? So tan 75 is equal to opposite over adjacent. There we are, lana. From there, you ask yourself, what is this other acute angle here, lana? In a right angled triangle, Lana, this angle is normally 90 degrees. And we know that in any triangle, interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So if this is 90 already, these two acute angles therefore add up to 90. We hope you get my point. Angles in a triangle add up to 180. And if this is already 90 degrees, Lana, this is already 90 degrees, it means that these two acute angles in a right angled triangle add up to 90. And therefore, if this is 75, this is 90 minus 75, which gives you 15. Which is, or you can go about it this way. Angles in a triangle add up to 180, and therefore you talk of 180 minus this plus this gives you 165. And therefore, this angle here, Lana, is 15. From there, you are now told to find tan 15, Lana. Tan 15, therefore, is equal to opposite, which is the opposite, which is this side, Lana. Opposite tan 15 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, 1 over, 1 over, look at this, opposite 1 over adjacent. So 2 plus root 3. Okay? So tan 15 is equal to opposite over adjacent. From here, Lana, we work out this side, which is the side. And therefore, how do you rationalize this side? You multiply with the conjugate of the denominator here, which is 2 minus root 3. Remember that? Yes? So if this is 2 plus root 3, the conjugate is 2 minus root 3. And therefore, you multiply with it down here and also up here, Lana. Sorry, this should be my point. 2 minus root 3. I hope it's clear. So from there, Lana, you just come and uh, multiply. 1 times this numerator here, it remains as 2 minus square root of 3. Divide by what, Lana? Divide by what? This multiply by this other bracket. We normally talk of 4 times 4, uh, sorry, 
2 times 2 which is 4 minus square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3 nana. Maybe I can explain that. You have 2 plus root 3 nana. You are multiplying with 2 minus root 3. You can either expand this, these two brackets, or you can use the identity. Remember this identity? A plus B multiplied by A minus B normally gives us A squared minus B squared. This is from 2 back then. A plus B times A minus B gives us this. So it's like we say A times A is A squared. Then you put minus B times B is B squared. Okay? So that is what I've done here. So you can either remove the brackets or you can use the identity to get this denominator. So I've talked of 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, Lana. 2 times 2 is 4. Root 3 times root 3. Root 3 times root 3, Lana. This is the same as just one root. Then you say 3 times 3, which is 9. And therefore, square root of 9 is 3. So you fix it there. I'm just reminding you. And therefore, this gives us 2 minus root 3 divided by 1, Lana. So the answer is 2 minus root. That is our answer. So go and practice on this uh, question. It is a combination of trigonometry 1 and sub form 2 and form 3 work. God bless you as you practice. Thank you.